A file system is how your operating system organizes and stores data on your storage devices. Think of it as the rules for how files are written, read, and managed on your hard drive or SSD. Starting with ext4, your default Linux file system. It's like the Toyota Camry of file systems. Boring, reliable, and gets the job done. ext4 handles up to 16 terabyte files and has been battle-tested for over a decade. The downside? It's basic. No snapshots, no compression, no fancy features. But honestly, for most people, that's perfectly fine. BTRFS. This is what ext4 wants to be when it grows up. BTRFS gives you snapshots so you can roll back changes, built-in compression to save space, and can even fix corrupted files automatically. It's like having a smart assistant for your storage. The catch? It's still a bit temperamental. RAID 5 and 6 are buggy and it can be unpredictable under heavy loads. By the way, ever piped a command into Bash and thought, please don't break my system? We've all done it. Now, you don't have to take that risk. With this new CLI tool, you can scan any shell script right in your terminal before running it. It gives you a full security report, and even shows you a fixed version of the code ready to use. So next time, before you hit enter, run it through this first. Links below. XFS, the speed demon. If you're working with massive files, think 4K video editing or running databases, XFS will blow ext4 out of the water. It scales insanely well and handles high I.O. like a champ. But here's the kicker. Once you create an XFS partition, you can never shrink it, only grow it. Also, it's terrible with lots of tiny files. ZFS, the perfectionist's file system. ZFS does everything. Snapshots, compression, deduplication, built-in RAID, and it even checks your data integrity constantly. It's like having a paranoid librarian organizing your files. The problem? It's a memory hog. You need at least one gigabyte of RAM per terabyte of storage, and it's not even in the Linux kernel due to licensing drama. F2FS, made specifically for SSDS and flash storage. While other file systems treat SSDS like hard drives, F2FS actually understands how flash memory works. It'll make your SSD last longer and perform better. The downside? It's still relatively new, so don't put your life's work on it just yet. NTFS, Windows's file system that Linux can use through a third-party driver. Great if you dual boot or share drives with Windows machines, but using it on Linux is like wearing a suit to the beach. It works, but it's not ideal. Performance takes a hit, and you're relying on external drivers. FAT32 and XFAT. The universal languages of storage. Every device can read them. Your camera, game console, TV, whatever. FAT32 is ancient, but works everywhere. Except it chokes on files bigger than 4 gigabytes. XFAT fixes that size limit, but isn't as universally supported yet.